Hello, this is Tic Tac. In this video, I will show you how to perform an ILS approach and landing on the Boeing 747 in Microsoft Flight Simulator. What we have done is created an IFR flight plan. We have flown our routes, and if you don't know how to create an IFR flight plan, then please watch my video on it. And we are just about to descend and approach the airport. Our autopilot is turned on. We are currently holding 6,000 feet. We are using LNAV to follow our flight plan and we are cruising at a speed of 240 knots. So on your flight plan you would have set an approach and a runway to land. If you want to change that then you can change that over here. If you click the departure and arrival button, then click the arrival airport, select the ILS and you can choose an approach to a runway now. Make sure you choose one with ILS in front of it. So I'm going to change it to runway 26 left. So I'll click this and click the execute button. Now the computer will calculate the new waypoints to the route and soon the new approach will appear on here. As you can see, we've got the new route. So now we will start descending and preparing for landing. So with the waypoints on the map, they've got some altitudes attached to them. We're going to use the altitudes to descend. So if you want to see the altitudes, you press the data button here. And as you can see, some pink numbers have appeared. And there's 4,000 and 2,250. If you want to zoom in on the map or zoom out, then you can rotate this knob here to the minus side to zoom in, to the plus side to zoom out. If you want to see what's behind the plane, then press the CTR button, and the plane is in the middle now, and you can see what was behind it. So what we're going to do is descend to 4,000 feet, so I'm just going to rotate this knob, and click the vertical speed, and let's descend gradually. Let's go 500 feet per minute. Now we will prepare by arming the speed brake, so just gently pull it out. And let's turn on our auto brake, so I'm going to set it to 3. Okay, and now we have a gentle right turn to do, and then sharp left turn. And we can reduce our speed now to 210 knots. and lower the flaps to 1. Now we are making our left turn and we are going to fly towards where we will capture the localizer and start descending towards the runway. So let's descend further down to 2000 feet. I'll increase our rate of descent slightly. Let's go for 800 feet per minute. Okay, so now we are making a left turn, and soon we will be making another left turn in order to face towards the runway. So what we can do now is we can reduce our speed to 180 knots. And we can lower our flaps to 5 and lower the gear. This video is sponsored by Incredible Maths. Incredible Maths is a great app in which you can learn and practice maths. It has a wide range of content for different levels of abilities. You can download it on Google Play and get 30 days of Incredible Maths Premium free with the code. More details down in the description. Now let's get back to the video. You can lower the flaps to 10. and the airport should be somewhere over there. Now we will talk about the ILS system. So as you can see, there's two arrows at the moment. And what will happen is that when we turn towards the runway, and this arrow will come over, turn into a diamond, and align itself with uh, this line. Uh, 
if it's aligned with this, it means we are uh, aligned with the center line of the runway. And this arrow will drop down and become the diamond and align itself with this line. And then we will follow this diamond down towards the runway, which will be our glide slope. Okay, and now we will be making a left turn soon, and then we will face the runway. So let's reduce our speed further to 150 knots. Let's lower our flaps to 20. And 25. And 30. So now we have flaps full. Now we are turning and we will capture the local lines. So we will see the arrow over here start to come over. So I'll zoom in a bit. And we can press the localizer button here and the plane will capture this diamond and align itself with the runway. So now it will make connections. What the pink diamond shows will not necessarily be what is shown on this, so don't worry about the map now over here. Of course, that's your GPS, this is more accurate. So now, as you can see, diamonds in the middle of the line, which means we are aligned with the runway, which is over there. The next thing we're going to do is arm our approach button. So what this does is turns on all three autopilots, and then it will capture this diamond that will come down as you can see it's coming down now and start our descent so this will come down and we will follow it down towards the bottom as you can see at the moment we've got lock mode on and speed on and then a glide slope will turn on soon and we have captured that diamond and now our plane will start descending towards the runway. As you can see, it's happening now. So now the plane will just follow this diamond and this diamond towards the runway to land. So when we get near to the ground, we'll have to disarm our autopilot and we have to disarm our auto thrust. Now what we do is we flare, touch down and turn on our reverses. And then our plane will brake automatically because we've got our auto brakes set over here and our speed brake arms. So we can see the runway now and we can prepare to touch down now. So we're aligned with it and we're on the glide slope. As you can see, we have the lock here and the glide slope here. So now our speed is stabilized. We will soon take off our auto thrust and then we can disengage our to a pilot and then gently touch down roll out and break. So we're perfectly aligned with the runway. Now we can disconnect auto throttle. Disengage autopilot. Take off thrust, flare and land. Turn on the reverses, and now we are breaking. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and it helped. If it did, please press the like button, subscribe for more videos, and if you have any ideas for what videos I can make in the future, then please put them down in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.